good evening YouTube. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004 Career Mode, aka a lesson in futility. Last time, Tony Stewart won, and I got flipped because uh, how fucking dare I go for 37? How fucking dare I try and get one extra spot? As a result, we flipped, and now we're 31st in the standings, going into Darlington, which is an equipment heavy track. And not only that, but the chassis is 86, the engine is 92, and the body's 92, which means, well, it says 51, but it's actually 50s across the board as far as everything is concerned. This is the worst possible car that you could have in the entire career mode. It does not get worse than this. And we're about to experience it firsthand. Holla fucking Louia. I can't wait. Getting into qualifying, if I can even run 150 in this corner, I'll be impressed. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, absolutely no speed. No speed. Uh-huh. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, let's, 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 that, that counts for the Darlington strike counter, by the way. Yeah, we're doing that again. We're bringing that back, Darlington strike counter. All right. Well, we made it through that corner. Well, it took it took two it took two attempts, but we finally made it through the first corner of the track, and that's about as good of a lap as we're gonna get. That's about as good as it gets, guys. Thirty second. Hell yeah. I nailed three and four, though. <laughs> Gonna be honest, I nailed three and four. So at this track, there's a weird checkup on the back stretch of the first lap that almost always takes place. Hope to God that I can get to the inside and avoid it, but I doubt that's gonna happen because we got so bad of tire wear in this car that we already were losing tire wear in that. 27, Jesus Christ. I said I was bad at qualifying. I said I was bad at qualifying. But I guess not. This is, Joe Moore, along... this is the worst possible car. I swear to God, this is legend difficulty, but you know what? I think What If got like eight in this race. So. Like it means anything. We're already being taken three wide. Race has barely started and we're already getting taken three wide. That's cool. This is acceptable. Okay. Just stay down on the. Stay out of the. Well, I, I, okay, they didn't break check there, so we survived that. We survived that. Turn car, please turn. There's the break check. There's the break check. It happened on the front stretch this time. Wow. Drifting up the track on lap two. That's impressive. Just be thankful that we're not around Ricky Rudd or... Dale Jarrett, because they're rivals. And be it only 40s. You know, if I fucking tap them, they're gonna go to 60, and then they're gonna hit me. No matter where the fuck I am. I could be on the other side of the racetrack. They will teleport next to me and run into me. I swear. You know what? I think there's a them at, at the Infineon track. You see, I've, I've, I've raced Infineon so many times in this game. I'm legitimately good at it, you know? See, I'm building myself up to be the greatest driver ever at Infineon, and when we get there, I'm going to fucking die on the first lap and finish this. Second Darlington strike of the race. Move, Kevin LePage. I just lost five fucking spots because of that shit. Five spots because I took that corner ten miles per hour more than I should have. And there we go. There we go, guys. There we go. There's that 50s across the board coming to haunt us here. This car is going to suck ass to drive. It already does, but it's going to be even worse once we actually get through this shit. Oh my god. I'm amazed I qualified 27. No. Terry. You win the second Darlington race this year. Not the first, the second. Christ alive, this is... <sighs> 
I have to overdrive these corners because they fucking... Oh! Move! Awesome! 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 I love it when that happens! Let's pit because I have nothing to lose! Why can't we just have even a slightly better car? Just slightly. Bare minimum, just a slightly better car. I'm not even asking for fucking Dale Jr.'s 2001 Pepsi 400 car. I'm just, I just want, I just want a car that'll drive, not fucking flounder around like this piece of shit. You can screw up on this stop, guys. We have literally no competition. You can use this as your one screw up of the season, okay? Please? Please screw up. Please screw up so that you don't when I have to pit a second time in this race. No? Alright. Looks like we're completely fucked in that case. We're starting in the back, so no shit. Never would have guessed that was going to happen. So that was fun while it lasted. Time to get back up to not dead last as they are off to the fucking races. Wow. 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 What else could I do? I literally just held down the gas. What else could I do there? Incredible. Just incredible. The sheer lack of fucking pace in this piece of shit car. It just does not go forward. It just, and it doesn't turn either. It does literally the opposite of what a race car should do. Like, this is the antithesis of a race car. This is... What I expected to happen. That's exactly what I expected to happen, was to be super fast in turn one, and then lose everything in turn three. But since we got 10 lap fresher tires, we're making it up, guys. There's still 30 laps in this race, so... You know what, maybe this wasn't the worst possible strategy to fucking take. Casey, hey, so you better give me room. You didn't give me room. And by give me room, I mean relinquish your position to me. Oh, they're pitting. Wait, they're pitting? Already? Y'all think I can make it to the finish? No. No. I'm gonna have to at least come and get a splash, right? These guys are pitting fucking early, though. Well, if they're gonna be pitting, like, fucking, I'm gonna get out of their way. No one else gonna pit? Because if I can pass Kevin LePage on speed, I'll take it. Look at that. Look at that. That's the worst possible car in the game. Okay. So I'm already making plans for later in the season. We need to have a really good car for Darlington, Infineon, Atlanta. Maybe not Atlanta. That's not really a place that I think I could actually contend at even in season one, you know. Okay. Okay, keep in mind this is 10 lap fresher tires. I should not be making any kind of uh, brash assumptions here fresh assumptions about my actual pace when I'm just on 10 lap fresher tires than everyone else on track. Okay, someone's pitting. Oh god, don't turn into me. Oh, they're gonna turn into me. Fuck that. Fuck that genuinely. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance I'm making it on fuel. As I tried to play with fuel mileage in my actual Atlanta 100% race, and I tried getting out of the gas way early and giving up a lot of time, but it really didn't work. If I make it to halfway on fuel and it's lap 19, I think I can make it. I don't think that's gonna happen, but if 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 it ha if if it gets there, I can make it on fuel. No, <laughs> no, it's just Chuck Testa, guys. 
Yep, everyone's pinned now. I should come down. I absolutely should come down soon, because these guys are going to be up my ass, and then it's going to make it impossible for me to come down, so... I really should have come down last time. That was a... poor strategy on my end here. Jimmy, go high. There you go. Go. You clearly have pace. Just go. Okay, coming down. Coming down. Not wrecking myself in the process. That was a great pit road entry. Okay, take rights. And yeah, probably fill up the tank. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's turn a bad race into a good one. Come on, guys. I know you're going to screw up now, but hey. Because you didn't get the screw up out of the way on the last stop when there was absolutely no stakes whatsoever. You're going to screw up on this one. It's going to be a 20-second two-tire stop. Wow. You know what, guys? Good on you. Good on you. You did it. Okay. LePaging time? Is it LePaging time? It's LePaging time, y'all. Hell yeah. LePage the field like a bitch. Yeah, and they're still that much faster than me. That's incredible. Look, I'm gonna get my Kmart money at, at, at the end of the day, so that's all I care about. I'm, I get my Kmart money, you know, everything's cool. Everything's cool. God, my lefts are gonna be fucking terrible. Oh my god, dude. We're running 27th, okay. We're back to where I started. It's been a tumultuous race, but somehow I've recovered back to where I was when it started. I don't know how that happened, and I'm not about to ask questions. If I can get like 35th or better in this, someone just died, that's a free spot. What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you, have you been paying attention to how this car drives? That's what's wrong. It's a piece. And it's going to get way worse. Oh, it's going to get way worse. Don't you worry, crew chief. Yeah, and I'm just relinquishing these positions at this point. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. See, you completely choke one corner. And Brett Bodine's suddenly trying to get underneath you. Okay, there you go. We're surviving. For now. Not for long, but for now. And there's Sadler again. We're hey, we're gonna it looks like we're gonna have to actually finish this race on on on, on, the, on the lead lap, so that's a shame. This is gonna be the race of all races where I really needed to have a free lap, you know. Uh, oh god. The handling's so far gone. We have to survive how many more laps? Six and a half? Oh, Christ. I'm doing everything I can, dude. Oh, good God Almighty. No. And the rest of the field, they're catching us. I mean, I'm keeping up with this chunk of cars up here. But the guys behind me are catching up to me. It's the faster guys that are behind right now. But you got Kenny Wallace, who probably started on the front row, because he always does that in this game. And he's holding up these guys. And who's that up there trying to block the field? Look at this frickin' tandem of cars. Good God. It's a train of five cars right here. And they're just in perfect sync. This is some impressive shit, I'm going to be honest. And there's Ricky Craven. He has a car that could win this shit. Maybe not in the game, but like in real life. Oh, oh my god, I'm going 127 in the Well, I tried to hold the bottom, but I failed. Could you not? Could you not actually do that? Oh, look at this speed that I have! Look at this speed! Come on, Terry! 
Texas Terry. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I kept it off him. Oh, I kept it off him. I cleared. I just made a pass on a two-try strategy. Yo, let's fucking go. I just completed the pass on a two-tire strategy in the worst possible equipment in the game. Oh my god, maybe we could do good at this race. We could do good in this race if I had a good equipment. If I had a good equipment. So the left front should survive. We're gonna make more passes. I just made another pass! Oh my god, all these passes I've made. Brett Bodon, you better fucking not. Oh Christ alive. It's the white flag. They're on the white flag. Look at the lead that this guy has. Holy shit! Look at that. Look at that lead! I don't even know who's in second from that map. What in fuck's name? Okay, Brett Bodine legitimately has more speed than me right now, so if he gets around me, like, it's okay. I'm in 28th. I'm not throwing this shit away like I did last week. We have one more lap. Just survive one more time around, guys. And we're gonna come home with a with a finish that we do not deserve even slightly. Come on, draft him, draft him, draft him. Okay, just be super conservative into this corner. I say as I drift up the track. Fantastic. Clear! Bitch! 28! I'll take it! Hell yeah! Alright, that was way better than that last race. Holy shit, Tony Stewart, three in a row, man. Damn. Lead changes were pretty scarce. Well, to be honest, Joe, I'm a little surprised that we didn't have more leaders. Just goes to... Uh, with the lead that he had, I'm not surprised. Oh, man, look at all that money. Oh, it's beautiful. Hell yeah, high fives. High fives all around, once again, for the fantastic work that we've been doing on a shoestring budget. Oh, Jesus Christ, the next race is Bristol. So everyone has a bad time in this race. And everyone else is good at qualifying. I can't even qualify at Bristol on race now mode. So this is going to be interesting. But let's take a look at the standings. We should maybe improve our spot. So Tony Stewart wins his third consecutive race. And we're still 31st in the standings. Because one good race keeps us where we're at. But one bad race drops us five spots. Because that's just how this shit works. Nice. That's awesome. That is really awesome, dude. That's that's just that's that's great. Nice. And at least those guys are done being pissed off at me. Casey Mears gets the rookie of the no, wait. No, it's McMurray again. I fucking I looked at the wrong goddamn screen. Christ alive, McMurray. Could you stop? Could you stop existing? Yeah, Jeff Green picking up places. Brett Bodine with a move of the race. That's incredible. Um, and no one's won more than one pole yet. That's interesting. We'll get the pole at Sonoma, don't you worry. I'm building myself up. I'm going to lose so fucking hard in that race. But you see the big difference here? We got new stuff back in. We got our, we got our shit back. Okay, awesome. Let's take a look and see if we can get some better builders here. Bob the Builder. So that's Foreman, who's available. And Foreman's the best. Fucking, that's wonderful. That's, that's great. That's great. That's great news. 57, there we go. 56. Yeah. Whatever. I tried. I tried to say goodbye and I choke. Five more races on the chassis shop. Let's get these fixed. Oh! Hello! Now we're starting to make progress. Now it actually feels like it's a good idea to do an overhaul here. Um, shit. Do I want to risk paying half price for four races? If I overhaul all three parts, that's going to be a total of 300,000. We'll end down at about 300,000, so yeah. It's an even split. But it's absolutely worth it. We're gonna have faster cars. It's worth it to get the and if we don't if this stuff doesn't improve that much, like this, I'm not even gonna overhaul that. Let's just repair it. Fuck it. 
If it's just one point, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was absolutely the right decision to make. So neat. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a better chassis than we used to, so that's good. So we're gonna have fresh stuff for the next race. That's not good because this is one race that I know I'm not gonna do good in, so. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops! Our sponsorship's looking good. Got four more races on all of these, I'm guessing. Yeah. Who knows whether or not they'll want to re-sign. Their happiness is just kind of there. So that's good. Their happiness is going up. It started around 50, so being at 64 now, that's good. It's good to see. Good to see, guys. Good to see. Cool! Alright, things are looking good on the home front. I mean, the next race isn't, but hey, what you gonna do? And yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time at Bristol when we're gonna fucking finish dead last. And it's gonna suck. So thank you all so much for watching. See you next time. Bye! What the devil, what the devil? What the fuck is happening right now? Hello? Yes? No? Yes? Maybe? All right. Here we go. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, go over there. No. Oh, God. No kidding, Rick Allen. I couldn't have said it better myself, honestly.